Okay, and and we're rolling. All right. All right. Uh, we, we, we got we got. Uh, as, uh, Nick and Lars have notes. That's right, uh, that's what ep- doing. Episode episode nine. But, wow. Yeah. We're up there. Yeah, we're getting getting. It's like a real right podcast. Along. Yeah, I feel I feel like that sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. Well, Lars, what are we seeing today? <laughs> we're seeing the secret life of pets. Mm-hmm. Is that um, illumination? It is. Okay. Yeah, it's like their first non Lorax or Despicable Me Slash movie. Medium. Yeah. So yeah, uh, uh, I don't really, I, I never really do look at uh, what critics say, but I'm expecting it to just kind of be a cute kids film with that I immediately forget about afterwards. I yeah, I uh, I actually I know I know that a lot of the time I look at the articles, I look at the reviews, and I think I've got at least one article open in a tab on my computer right now. But um, as far as like actually reading any of it i i haven't this time uh okay. i do know that it's made a ton of money <laughs> good for them we were we were looking at the show times and every movie here has you know like four per day this one has about 20 per day okay like every half an hour there's a new showing so they're they're it's it's making the money and they're showing it a lot so it can make that money yeah well good for them i, I guess i mean if it's a good movie good for them if it's a bad yeah. movie then screw them um <laughs> Well, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited. Then, that, dude, that money is polarizing. Well, yeah, I, yeah. I already yeah. don't like the minions, and that made a lot of money. So they're <laughs> dude, they have to climb back out of that. This won't be as bad as the minions. No, it would be hard for that to be. Yeah. <laughs> they would. They would have they'd to really like, have to make it a cute. They'd have character. to really, really not try. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> well, and I hate the minions because everyone else likes them so much. Yeah, well, that and because, like, you know, uh, it made, like, a kajillion dollars. And also, like, how hard was it to make those guys up? Anyway? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so screw those guys. This will be a great movie. As you movie said. Compared yeah. to that, I'm sure. Yeah, no, this will definitely be better than that. I don't... I don't... The trailer was not very forthcoming about what this movie is going to be about. There was, like, another trailer that I'm not sure if you saw. I, I definitely didn't. Okay. Uh, well, I'll just let you be surprised. Okay. I don't know if it's going to be a Homeward Bound adventure or what. Because the, the first trailer I saw was just them in their houses, not going anywhere. Right, right. So we'll yeah, see how that, that plays out. that was definitely, out. like, the teaser. They get the fun music going. Yeah, it's actually... Um, Homeward Bound is not completely far off. Okay. As far as what later trailers revealed. G- great. Yeah. Uh, a romping Milo Nota style adventure. <laughs> yeah. Didn't the cat die in that one? I think like a bunch of cats died. <laughs> I don't know. Bad. I hear about that. Like, isn't that isn't that the thing? Like Milo and Otis, like they were shooting it in another country, and they didn't have like any animal rights or anybody watching, so they were just like, okay, so in this part, uh, the cat falls off a cliff, and they're like, okay, woo, throw him off. The cliff. <laughs> oh my god! And then they're like, did we get it? And they're like, well, let's take a couple more takes. And they're like, <laughs> okay, we got more cats for safety. Yeah. So um, yeah, yeah. I think I think that's Milo and Otis. So that's fun. Yeah. Thankfully, this one's animated, so right. if they kill it, they can just make a new art asset. Yeah, copy any that one in. animals they killed for this would just be for sound effects, I guess. Like, <laughs> what if they did? What if they actually had to kill a cat for the genuine sound effects? I, I, I loved your your reaction to that one, man. That was, <laughs> was great. Good. Yeah, yeah, just for like, audio purposes. I was like, because I, dude, I knew that joke was fucked up while I was saying it. Yeah, I, I, no, I enjoyed it. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. Anyway, so expect that Secret of Pets, uh, just a massacre. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. No, I'm sure that most of the characters in this movie die. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Well, I guess. Um, yeah. Oh, and by the way, you guys, we have our very, Uh-oh. very first guest star. Yeah, on that's the podcast. right. Podcast. So we will reveal him or her in the next <laughs> oh. segment. Yeah. Expect. Look forward to that after the break. Goodbye. Bye. All right, you guys, uh, we're back. We just watched the movie, and I, I think what we need to do first of all is is introduce our our very first uh, special guest star Hi. on the podcast. Hi, it's me. Yeah, <laughs> it's her, everyone. <laughs> Julianne. Julianne uh, is is, uh, is an I'm animation. I'm a special guest. She's by a special profession. guest. Uh huh. And yes. my roommate. <laughs> and Nick's roommate. That's right. And a, and a you know a, an, an animation industry professional. Yep. Yes. Um, you know, extraordinaire. That's yeah. Which again is why we're all qualified to talk about the secret life of pets. That's right. That's, that's that what makes, that movie was called. That right? ma- the yeah, secret it, life it of was, pets. We did just come out. We just watched the secret life of pets. Uh, but, yeah. well, let's start with you. What did you think, Julianne? Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, it was so much better than I thought it was going to be. But admittedly, the bar 
was low. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so low. <laughs> we were talking about in the intro, like, mm-hmm. the last thing we saw was Minions, which we actually all saw together. There's which also we didn't a short, laugh a single time. Yeah, there's a short at the very beginning right. of this movie, and it's all the Minions with, like, a bunch of disjointed gags that don't really go anywhere or amount to anything. It's just like, yes, the Minions are bad at everything. <laughs> that, that's the premise of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and at the end yes. of it, Julianne fake laughed very <laughs> loudly. <laughs> also, uh, you know, the other day, I was texting with Nick, my roommate. Um, yep, yep. Uh, I think you all know me. Half of Nick and Lars have notes. Um, about how terrible the ad campaign for this film was. Oh, yeah. Was, uh, because it's, is, oh. it's just terrible. It, it, the, the, ca- the tagline is, wonder what they do all day, question mark? And the answer, of course, is no. Like, you shouldn't ask a yes or no question <laughs> to, to draw people in. But, like, if they had advertised it for what it was, which was a, you know, a buddy picture with a lot of, like, funny gags, it would have been more successful. I think it's a case of bad marketing. And you were saying, like, the poster was a big white thing, and then it was the white rabbit on top of it. So it was just super bland and boring to look at. Whereas the first thing I'm going to say about this movie is that I loved the colors in it. It was super oh. beautiful. There were some great scenes, like the um, the scene with the cats where they they encounter all those cats in the yeah, alley so much and character. the acrobatics of him like being thrust around on those clothing lines. That was great. Mm-hmm. It was really well oh. thought out. Can I mention that opening shot where the camera is oh. just flying around? We New go York? like yeah. we go past these buildings. We go up one building. We go around another one. Up the Empire State down into Central Park over people's heads. It's like this continuous shot lasts like 20 or 30 seconds. And it's, I love their version of New York. The colors, like you said, all these greens and these sort of rusty red oranges and, and Very you know. Very saturated. Yeah, yeah, but, but not everywhere completely and like really stylized structures. It's New York, but everything is just a little bit, little bit tweaked, a little bit of that Lorax almost yeah, totally. look to it like that sort yeah. of art design because all the trees are orange all the buildings are blue all the uh, the sky is whatever yeah it's it's that hint of like lorax design whimsy like that zeus-ish stuff but but so much more grounded and yeah. really just really successful everything pops oh man it was, it was really fun i i think the second half had some story issues like it didn't we didn't need to see so much dire peril mm. over and over again like it kind of hit the same note a couple times and um I think that it was unnecessary for them to go back to Duke's house, the larger dog. Um, I think it would have sufficed for in his flashback for him, the owner to have just died. Because that would have been a lot sadder, actually. Yeah. Um, and uh, it, it just, there were, there were some things they could have cut out, but it was really fun. And mm-hmm. I would totally recommend it. <laughs> I, I can't believe Whoa. the words are like coming out of my mouth. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> uh, I, you know, um, like the. And, and we don't care about spoilers for this movie because you guys don't watch this movie for the story. Who cares about the story with this movie? You're going to have <laughs> it's, fun it's on the picture. ride. Yeah, it's it's the jokes and the tone and just, just it's it's a good time. You'll have fun. Like, turn off your brain. You know you what know? the story is as yeah. soon as the other dog comes on the scene and they don't like each other. Yeah, it's, it's Toy yeah. Story again. Or, or, it's more if, Toy story. or I, apparently I saw, like, the later trailers that neither of you guys saw because yeah. the, the first trailer was just, like, basically all of the opening scenes of this movie were like all what the animals do decide to do all day Mm -hmm. um later trailers did reveal that it was a buddy picture gotcha um which i which i held in uh well i think that's the angle that they should have gone with from the beginning Mm -hmm. because i saw the trailer where it was just a bunch of like funny gags like funny disjointed animal gags and (laughs) they just it it doesn't it didn't feel it never felt like it was about anything honestly even the trailers that did show that it was a buddy picture like didn't make it seem as as much fun as this was Mm -hmm. like they seemed kind of Honestly, they, they probably showed the rabbit a little too much, you know, yeah. yeah. Although although what you're saying about the billboard, there are billboards all over the place, that, and each one has a different right. character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The I, funny one was just the least successful. On my way to work, I always drive by the one with Gidget. That's okay. the one I see every day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I will agree with your earlier point that it had too many things in it. It had too many plot points that they could have cut out for time. or just like cause the, the, the best part was uh, the Louis C.K. dog. 
and yeah, you know yeah. the, the, the two buddies, and they would like cut back to stuff that we didn't need to see. Especially towards the end with the, the climax on the bridge. It's like this crazy action chase sequence. And then all of those animals without owners are chasing them. But then all of their friends are chasing the animals without owners. And yeah. then they all meet. But like one of them has been kidnapped by animal control and he's fallen. And it's just it's too much to keep track of. It was a little bit overcomplicated. I, but, I, I, but what was, gonna uh, I was just going to say, if there was almost less fantasy to it, like dogs driving cars they did that in Finding Dory but I agree I, I felt it, like those it, were the moments that took me out it, it, was, it was just too much yeah I I didn't mind it I felt like it was a pretty smooth absurdity curve where things started very grounded and became more and more crazy but they eased you into it that's fine. I'm, you know, I'm not going to pick that one apart. You know, it is what it is. Yeah, I mean, you know, and, and I mean uh, different, you know, to be fair, I have a lot more tolerance from for absurdity than the average person. Okay. So that's my bag. That scene at the end where they almost drowned, I was pretty scared. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was some real peril. It was pretty dire. Yeah. 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 Um, I, don't, I thought they were both going to die. It was maybe... Maybe it'd be over. <laughs> <laughs> the end, yeah. Sorry, kids. Things died. Uh, the turnaround for the rabbit, I, I feel, was kind of unearned. Yeah. Just because, yeah. like, hey, we're working together now, and now we're best friends. Based, almost nothing about that rabbit was earned. Yeah, you know? <laughs> that's true. An unsuccessful character. Yeah. Like, I mean, I don't know. I mean, he made me laugh in places, but he's, like, a, a lunatic it's also character. It's also a case of, like, the same note being hit twice, because they had the uh, they had the Jenny Slate fluffy white dog who turns out to be a total badass. Like, they don't need two fluffy white characters right. with, um, like secret uh, uh, grit, you know? It's not necessary. <laughs> yeah, that, that works. Uh, mm. That makes sense. Uh, Louis C.K. was the perfect casting for this dog. He, was so he had cute. so many fun lions that <laughs> were just great. <laughs> it's... It's funny because, like, he, he couldn't... He, he fits so well the fact that it, it was a dog, you know? Like, because mm -hmm. he has this very earnest delivery that almost wouldn't work in so many other situations you totally, know yeah like but but for the fact that this character is a dog like worked really really well yeah exactly i liked all the jokes about dogs versus cats mm -hmm. that's a uh an undertone of my friendship with nick <laughs> <laughs> yeah i oh I, should i say an overtone mm. at this point yeah i guess so nick are you more of a cat person did you, I, did not, you not know, know that about me no <laughs> <laughs> you don't own a cat. No. He's obsessed with cats. No, I, I love what? cats. This is all news to me. Oh, my God. I'm sorry if this changes our relationship. It changed our care. relationship. Yeah. Let me tell you. You know what? I thought I was a dog person my whole life growing up, and then as an adult, met cats that I liked. So, you know, it's you know, like, oh, man, I guess I'm a like a cat and name. a dog person. <laughs> it's more like um, you're making an exception, I guess. Yeah. I, I like one cat. You know, that doesn't make me a cat person. <laughs> I like one dog. <laughs> Honestly, I've liked most of the the cats and most of the dogs that I've liked, and they're the exceptions are the ones that I don't like. For sure, I'm I'm not making a comment. <laughs> you know, I, I like animals. It's fine. You know, I like them even more now that we know what they do. All day. <laughs> you know, asked and answered this movie. Oh man, I know what they do all day thanks to this. You know, if I. I no, want to talk terrible about terrible marketing. Uh, I, I, I gotta say, like, I work on a show that has, until now, suffered from terrible marketing. <laughs> so I'm sympathetic <laughs> to a project that's well done and has a lot of redeeming qualities that is just sold to the public you in know, a terrible, yeah. misunderstood way. <laughs> I, th I think that, like, overall it worked out pretty well for us because the marketing was just good enough to get us in here and then <laughs> our expectations were set low enough that we really enjoyed ourselves. I thought that you guys were seeing it sarcastically. No. I mean... I mean... <laughs> like, I wasn't going to see this if we weren't doing a podcast I think I legitimately wanted to see this movie, like, not because I thought it was going to be super good, but that I thought it would be fun and that I wanted to have an opinion about it. And I... Julian, yeah, you probably thought it was a joke. And then, Nick, yeah. you're probably somewhere in the middle. Just, I, I like to see movies for the show that I wouldn't go to normally. And this was that, and I was pleasantly surprised. That's yeah. what I was about it. And, and that's one of the reasons that, that I love doing this show so much, is that we get to be pleasantly surprised by these movies that we wouldn't normally see otherwise. Yeah. Like Minions. Uh, well, that, we, that wasn't an episode. Such a great movie. <laughs> we, we did all see that. Uh, <laughs> But no, that was terrible. It was wonderful. Those minions are so cute and funny. Oh, I love the way they I, say banana. I would it's my oh, favorite thing. Nah, nah, nah. Um, oh, that one's in the show. Uh, 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 the, the Illumination's best movie. This one. 
Yeah. yeah. And high budget, too. We, when we were watching the Minions movie, there was just a scene where they filmed live action backgrounds and thought that no one was going to notice. <laughs> they did? I didn't remember. They did. That. In one of the chase scenes, they did. Oh, man. Oh, I man. must have been too drunk to notice. Yeah. <laughs> but in this one, like, everything was super either. high budget and cool. Yeah, no. It looked it, it looked good. It was a good story. Like, I, I feel a little uncomfortable about Illumination because I feel like they represent the wrong path for an already errant industry to go down like just you know appealing to the, kids and well no else. no 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 no, not that it's their D- their business doing model. everything like you know like ha- ha- for half as much money oh, and then right. marketing the hell out of it well no they don't they don't have a studio like they don't have animators they everything they they outsource all of the boards to a bunch of different board artists who work hmm. disjointedly around the world um, I guess there must be some central bare bones crew, like story director, you know, oh. art director, but all of the animation is farmed out, everything is farmed out. So, like, their existence puts all of our jobs in peril, which is why I'm a little reluctant to support them Interesting. emotionally and wow. financially. I, uh, I didn't know any of that. Yeah. Um, huh. well, I, I was going to huh? say that I thought the animation in this movie was really good. It like, really was. I felt like the movement of all of the animals was this, this, perfect combination of like true to life animal movement and like you know you know character acting when it needed to be there and and really well integrated you know i love i love the way max moves yeah and the the expressions were dead on too they represent like even further separation from the people who do the work and the people that pay them the money to do it you know it's really upsetting to hear that but it it really worked out in this case yeah that that does suck i mean i i do know that uh illumination spends like less than half as much money on their features as other studios do Hmm. but um i thought that that most of that money they were saving more on like the the front end in terms of like not worrying as much about development you know because because so many uh, so many movies you know like 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 pixar disney or whatever they'll spend years on a movie look at all the permutations that zootopia went through right whereas as i understand it with illumination they just like crank out the story they just like hammer it out and they're like this is what it is and we're just gonna make it as funny as it possible and it'll work you know good enough let's go and they just they just make the movie happen quickly and that that was the way that they save money from my understanding hmm. you know but I, I, it sounds like you know more about than I do yeah terrible oh. studio don't support them <laughs> don't see this movie we did but don't see it torrent it <laughs> just kidding don't do that either <laughs> oh man but yeah they're uh, not really a studio they're more of like a production company in the producing sense you know hmm. they fund it they make it happen but... huh weird yeah hmm. it's a brave new world we live in yeah huh definitely weird <laughs> oh I'd be down <laughs> yeah, I, dude you guys oh my god who wants sausage right now I do oh, man, yeah. oh that was a weird god. sequence where that... it cuts entirely to fantasy no explanation yeah and then like they never come out of that we just cut to another sequence yeah, and then when we come back they're out of it. yeah no I mean there are a lot of things where like and I mean that's probably part of you know that not spending as much time on the story thing that Illumination does, you know, yeah. like, like there are things like, honestly, like when they went back to Duke's old house, like I knew what they were going for there, you know, they're they're painting Duke in a more sympathetic light, you know, that's when Max starts to invest in the story of who Duke is and care about what happens to him and decides to. He but should have stopped in the in the. In the- Flashback. Um, flashback because I, I thought that's where they were going with it especially right, but, when they show him them <laughs> sleeping more and more and he's an old man yeah. and that would have lent him the emotional depth and you know he comes into the new apartment he's like oh I'm gonna take your bed he's got this like machismo thing about him but like he's actually suffered this tragedy but then it's like he gets lost and they magically find the house that he can't find which made no sense right. well no it was and because it, the sausage factory is super close to where he used to live I don't, I don't buy it. It was too convenient <laughs> and easy that in all of Brooklyn they were able to find... There, he's like, he's was... like, oh, I went so far, I couldn't find my house. And Max is like, we're going to find your house, buddy. And like a minute Cut later, to they're them at his house. It. He must be the stupidest, worst dog ever. Okay, you guys, there was a line of dialogue that was... <laughs> 
I used to go by this place all the time. It was really close to my old house. That was, that was, they said that. I understand, but I still think that it was a little far-fetched. Yeah. Right. They found it okay. immediately. I mean, I live near a Toys R Us, but so do like 400 other houses, you know? My okay. dog could get lost in the vicinity of that Toys R Us. <laughs> right. I mean, how often do you go by that Toys R Us? Every day. Okay. I'm always there. <laughs> <laughs> Just hanging. Just hanging out. All right. Yeah, and, and it would have saved them like five minutes they could have spent on more Something character else. development. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. I mean, d- d- doesn't break the film, but I, you know, could have been tighter. I just didn't need that second beat of like... Seeing the family. Well, no. I felt like it, the whole point of that scene was for him to be like, why did you insist on us coming here, Max? You know, and he gets mad at Max. But like, they could have done that in a different way, you know. There's, I don't know. There's just... There was no need for it. I don't think it advanced the story. Although it did, it did get Duke caught. Right. Yeah. But then they could have caught them in the the sausage factory, That's which true. which was another chase that they escaped from only to get caught again. Right. Okay. You're right. You're right. They could have combined those two. Beats. All right. So I see what you're saying. So have the have his previous owner die in the flashback. Mm-hmm. Then they get then do the same they're thing where Ma- the, like Max they Max gets caught in the sausage factory. Then Duke saves Max, and then Duke's... Okay, yeah. sure, I see that. Oh, you know what? They catch Duke. They don't catch Max. Duke thinks that Max has abandoned him. Then you get that strain and separation, and the story is moved forward. You okay, know? Yeah. I see that, yeah. Do it... Either, either do it that way, or, like, go further with what they did do. Because it did, it did seem kind of like they didn't really pay it off in a way no they you said know. their lines and they kind of moved on like it was a chase scene again yeah. without really giving what they were trying to do time to breathe yeah, so they should have yeah. just not done it or gone all the way there, there are a lot of things that could have paid off that didn't and it, the movie's going so fast that you don't notice so much at the time <laughs> yeah you know which yeah. is fine for a kids movie yeah I guess. and I mean and I still had fun like sure. I had a good time Certainly. I had a great time yeah, yeah. the best time Greatly <laughs> exceeded expectations. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I expected garbage, and I got um, you got a couple dogs. I got a really fun little movie that yeah. I greatly enjoyed. Yeah. What a fun Sunday night! <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah, no problem. It's been a wonderful time here. Yeah, at Nick yeah. And Seven Notes. <laughs> Great. <laughs> That's why we do it. That's why we keep coming out. Yeah. Um, Wrap this puppy yeah. up. Yeah. 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 Um, As it were. So yeah, it's time to let me see. I mean, at, at this point, we kind of, you know. Uh, although although we have a, a, a lost episode in mm-hmm. which we've determined that numbers are meaningless. Right. But, um, you know, which may or may not be up by now. That's, that's our, well, that's our uh, goofy movie, lost episode. Yeah. It's, it's, it's been recorded. Maybe it's already up. I don't Maybe know. Maybe it's not. Just to say. You know, it's, it's going to be depending on what order I put these episodes up in. Mm-hmm. But, uh, but, yeah. But, you know, we, we are forced to rely on numbers anyway. Uh, sure. So... What what's it? What's it, what, what are you are saying? You guys, what's the next one? Or I'm saying we need to assign a number value to this movie. Oh, out of ten? Out of a thousand? Out of a thousand, I would give it a solid oh. eight hundred and fifty. Okay. Okay, hold on. Let me try to <laughs> let me back up a little bit because now I understand what you're saying. You're saying in a goofy movie, we came up with a new rating system and I retroactively re-rated all the movies <laughs> in the podcast. Right, which you can hear in our last episode that may or may not be up. Okay, yet. gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> so in the new rating system, which may or may not be up. I give this one a six. <laughs> okay. No, it's out of a thousand. But then what so about... Six out of a thousand. So six hundred. What about out of... What would you give it on your old rating system? I, uh, nine, uh, it's 8.5. Okay. Oh, like, like, okay. And then what about, you know, uh, the intermediate rating system? Seven. Like, okay. Because it's an average of the two. Okay. <laughs> and now... 7.25. And now letter grade. Oh, uh, wait. In the new system or the old system? <laughs> on, and, uh, like, high school. <laughs> okay, the high school system definitely a C plus. C plus. Oh I would, man. I would give it a B. Oh my oh, gosh. Although in school they actually reward you more if you start at a lower grade, and then over the course of the semester you get higher, which always pissed me off because I always got A's, and the kids who started off with C's and got A's got all the praise. <laughs> so I give this movie a B minus. Okay. Um, you know, I don't know. I would, I would have given this movie at the very least a B plus. You know, I feel like uh, well, that's the old rating. It's got system. some. Oh. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> I'm just going to go with the 850. Great. Woo! Love it. 850 for the win. <laughs> Solid number. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, guys, if you feel like checking out this movie, it'll be fun. Yeah. But also, I But guess, also, maybe don't give them money? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Whatever. This is getting very political. Yeah. Um, okay. Let's see. Um... There's there's no trailer report tonight. No. Um, we had a problem with the limo service, and that's why uh, I'm just gonna, you know, I think I'm gonna like probably stop trying to save money there with our guest stars. Oh I'm yeah. Gonna, we... like, I'm gonna pay like a little bit more. Right. For well, the she, better we service. We flew in from Connecticut. And we had yeah. Here, yeah. So. All right. Oh well. Sorry. No trailer report. Um, next episode. Not sure what it's gonna be. I don't know what's coming out. Um. Let's see. Okay. It, 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 will it be will it be Ghostbusters or oh yeah I think it, will it be might be Ghostbusters it's first live action yeah I'm excited excited yeah. for that one that's gonna be a good one <laughs> all right you guys all stay right stay tuned stay tuned check out that lost episode or unless we didn't put it up yet <laughs> or if we did okay. when it comes out okay bye okay Julian's catching a Pokemon oh okay that's what I've been doing today too awesome um oh so all right so we're <laughs> signing off. <laughs> oh, I've got like so many Yawns. of those. Yeah, I got, dude, you guys, I got like a, a ponyta like at Chipotle just sitting there. It's pretty cool. I got a ponyta too. I got too. three Pokemon at the Chipotle. Okay, well, at so Chipotle did I. So did I. I got one, I got this big, I can't remember the name because I don't know my Pokemon. Um, oh my God, there's so many here. All right, you guys, right. we got to sign <laughs> off so I can right. do something with my phone. This has been Nick. Uh, you know, edit and, this out. And, and That's my catchphrase. This, this has been Lars, and, and we love you all so very much. And, and Ju- Julianne's signing off. <laughs> this is Julianne, and I... she got a... <laughs> she got a ride horn. All right, okay. bye. All right. <laughs> great ending. All right. Great ending for a great show. Okay. Bye, everybody. Ooh.